Guys, I'm just taking my caterpillars for a walk. It's completely normal. This is normal. Okay, they wanna go this way. <laughs> yeah, guys, check it out. You guys probably saw the thumbnail and the title. These are hatchling Halophora cecropia caterpillars. <gasps> One of my favorite animals in the world. The caterpillar. Oh, there's a couple on the lid. Can you guys see them? They're just little black, little spiny, you know, kind of furry little spiny deals. Here, maybe let's get in a little bit of sun here. I got you guys on my head, so I hope you can see. But yeah, these are Halophora cecropia, and you can tell that I'm a fan of this creature because look at the little thumbnail icon for my YouTube channel. I'm actually holding up a plant that has a Cecropia caterpillar on it. So I've been raising these my whole life. Um, I, I haven't raised them for the last couple years because I haven't found any cocoons. They go through really bad years sometimes, probably because of environmental changes and stuff. Certain years, I don't find any cocoons. And I hunt them during the winter. They overwinter in a, a real tough cocoon. Even in Wisconsin, they can stay out in, you know, 20, 30 below zero and they stay alive in the cocoons. So it's really cool. Um, they're an amazing creature, but I haven't found, I haven't found a cocoon for probably three years. So what I did is I went on to um, insectclassifieds.com and I found a seller that was selling them. So I ordered the eggs. The eggs are just little, well, there's some in the bottom. Um, it's a little hard to see them. They're just little, like tan colored or white little they look like little beads like indian beads um here I'll put a picture on the screen editor okay there and so they go through five, five instars so they shed their skin as they grow and they call them instars and right now they're in their first instar so their second one they'll kind of look kind of orange and then sir please stay away from the danger zone of the lid um then they turn into an amazing green with these weird multicolored little spikes on them. So, um, editor, uh, show a picture of some of the adults or the different third instar and beyond. So yeah, they end up absolutely incredible. And there's a picture of my daughter holding one that I raised. It's a big one. So they're very, very cool. Um, so let's talk a little bit about how to raise them so when they first hatch out they like to go and crawl away like see these are even exploring and crawling um, you want to give them a food source that they really like so i asked the person that sold these eggs which are called ova um, the person that sold me the ova I asked him what they were reared on. So, and he told me it was black cherry. A lot of people seem to use black cherry for raising cecropias. I've had luck on other stuff. The, the most luck I've ever had was on dogwood. And, but my source for that is gone now because <laughs> that the lake flooded and flooded all my dogwood spot. Um, but everybody I hear of uses black cherry. So it, and I can see they're eating it. There's, there's already a whole bunch of little chew marks and they're already a couple days old. So we're gonna try black cherry. And the reason they're in such a small container when you first hatch them out is like I was gonna say, they crawl around. See, this one's already getting in trouble. He's going, he's going in the edge of the lid there. Um, so they get them, they, they'll crawl around, they'll crawl off the food. So if you have them in too big of a uh, enclosure, they'll end up not even on the food and they will quickly uh, starve. So I always start them in a small container like this. It helps hold in humidity to keep the leaves fresh. And I do add new leaves to the top. So, but now that they're hatched and starting to grow, we have to put them in a bigger setup. And we have another problem, guys. That's why we're also making a video. We have to go get some black cherry stock. I have a couple, See, I can see a black cherry tree. See that one that's kind of curving like this, guys? That's a black cherry. Guess where the leaves are? Like 75 or 80, maybe. There's no leaves low down. I don't even know if I have a little black cherry tree. So, 
We're gonna go on an adventure to the farm. We're gonna jump, jump on my mule, not the animal, um, the Kawasaki mule, and we're gonna take a drive and go look for some black cherry to feed these guys. And stick around, because I'm gonna show you how we're gonna set up a simple, simple throw together enclosure uh, for the next stage for these guys. And uh, over the course of rearing these, I'll make multiple videos so you guys can kind of follow along. So, and there's still time. Some people are still selling the eggs. So go ahead and order yourself some Cecropia eggs and join in the fun, guys. It, let me know in the comments if you've seen one of the moths. Um, post the picture editor of the moth. Absolutely incredible. They can have up to a seven inch wingspan. Largest moth in the United States. And I mean, probably one of the largest in the world. I mean, there is bigger ones, but um, okay guys, um, this caterpillar is gonna be in trouble here. I'm gonna see if I can knock him off. Why is there a fly? There's a fly coming in to get my caterpillars. Okay guys, here, look, I'm gonna use a leaf to transfer. Get in there, sir. Okay guys, let's hit the road. Let's go find some black cherry stock and uh, maybe we'll even dig up some by the roots or something. Okay, let's go. Okay, here we are guys. We went to the farm. I grabbed uh, I grabbed my beefy shovel. We have some rainwater. We got random stuff. Here, let's put this away. Dang, I was gonna try to keep this all clean. Okay, we do have a, a snipper. Uh, and we got a shovel and we have a bucket with some rainwater. So uh, that's good enough. Let's go. Hey, we might be able to see some um, milkweed caterpillars, but I think it got sprayed in here. So I'll quick say them, them few leaves that are in that little container that I showed you, they came from way back there. There was little baby black cherries. Uh, so let's go. Maybe we'll spot a milkweed caterpillar. I'll show you. All right, we got hungry caterpillars to feed. Let's go. Jeez, there's a deer. There was a deer on the very edge of the woods over there. We're so intimidating that he ran. Whoa, whoa, slow down now, everybody. Okay, right here. So, um, the farmer Tom, side character Tom, um, he said he actually wants this woods pushed back because it's like encroaching or encroaching, encroaching. It's creeping in on the field. So he actually wants this stuff cut back. And there's little black cherry trees in here. I hope that's what they are, like right here. So see, this might have even been where I grabbed that little one. So see, this is a cherry. Yeah, we could take this one. Um, let's see. And there's they're kind of all along here. I like these ones. They're too tall to take by the root. I'm just going to I'm going to just lop them off and put them in the water right away, you know? This is actually probably all we'll need for now. And at the moment, I'm actually not even killing the trees cuz they're still right there. But they, they're trying to push this whole woods back, you know, so it doesn't take over the field, I guess, but. Okay, are these good? See, by the time they eat that, I'm probably gonna have to get fresh. Let's grab one more. I don't know how long it'll last in that water. Let's see if we can find a real fresh one. Like a nice bushy top. See, here's one. Holy cow, is this one? 
Yeah, right here, that big one. Oh yeah, see all of this. This is all black cherry. Ooh, some of that's got some nice bush to it. See, this has even got the cherries on it. Let's cut one of these branches. Okay, let's make sure they're the same. Yeah, they are. Yeah, let's cut one of these branches with the cherries on it. Judo cut! Oh my gosh, we could raise so many caterpillars, guys. They will eat a lot of other foods, too. Uh, the list is pretty massive, actually. Okay. Let's get back to the house, guys. All that work for, for that. Get in there, Billy. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Sir, please get stay in your own lane. We have caterpillar food coming through. Officer, please escort me to my house. I have hungry caterpillars. Here we go, guys. We're back. Look at this. High five a tree. Ow! What's this, guys? <laughs> okay, let's get the food out. I don't open the door, I do it Dukes of Hazard style. Look at this, we got a successful mission. Nobody even saw us, only a deer saw us. Okay, let's put this in the garage. Um, so it stays, I might put more water in there. Um, let's, let's check out the setup. I have the caterpillars chilling in the shade there. Um, look at this setup I came up with this morning. Super simple and effective. So I have a piece of plexiglass that's from like a, I, I don't know, I just had it. I think it's from, no! <laughs> Guys, it broke! Did you see that? Editor, play that in slow motion, please. I think it's from... No. It was the coolest thing ever, guys. So it was nice and round like this, and it fit into here like this. See? And then this was on top, guys. There, see? Perfect. That was unfortunate. But guess what? First rule of being a hoarder that's also slobby and messy. Herm, let's see how much more plexiglass we have. Here's some. There, done. Let me go get the packaging tape. <laughs> Okay, now that we know the size that we like, let's put a long strip. I broke it again. Okay, um, how many of these do I have? Okay guys, let's just bend it around. Try not to break this one. That was pretty funny having that on film though. Uh, yeah, this is just plexiglass from like in like cheap posters or, you know, picture frames. We gotta be very careful though. I don't wanna break this one. Okay, let's fit it in here. Then we'll know how big to make it because we want it to fit right in there. Perfect. Okay, let's put a piece of tape on it. This packaging tape uh, really sticks to it. Okay, let's tape this side. No harm done. We could edit that out, but actually that was really funny. Okay, we don't want to push on that. Okay, let's put a piece of tape on here. Okay, now let's put a long piece. Um, here, hold on. Okay, there we go, no harm done guys. It's like it never happened. 
except it'll be on YouTube forever. Okay, guys, all we have to do now, gently, here. Well, this goes in here like that. See, easy as that. This is from the Dollar Tree. It's a cake holder top. So $1.25, I already had that. And then look, I'm just for the lid, this is a screen for gold classifying. So I have a screen top, it just will sit on just like that. And there we go. Isn't that cool? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put water. Let's see, do we have something to cut this? We gotta cut little slits in the top of this. I have a little uh, container of water. You don't want open water because the caterpillars will fall in it as they're trying to get away from your their food or something. Okay, let me grab something. Okay, let's just, um, I hope you guys are still on. Let's just cut a little um, slit in here. Even if it kind of breaks, it's fine. Um, that's fine. There we go. So I just cut a little X in there and here, we'll just set it in. Set the water in. Okay, there we go. And now let's get, trim up some of our branches. Here, let's just grab one nice one. Uh, let's see, okay. I still can't believe I broke that. Okay, how tall, about that tall? Let's cut it. Okay, stick them down in there like this. This is gonna be a gorgeous, gorgeous cage, guys. Don't breathe on it though, or it'll break. Okay, let's see if we can just bend them in. That'd be nice. And see, there's gonna be, there'll be a nice little mix of, let's see, is that all the way in? Yep. There'll be a nice mix, guys, of airflow from the, the lid but also it, it's gonna trap humidity. Oh, look at that guys, it's beautiful. Yes, is this my thumbnail? I'll probably show uh, Cecropia or something. Okay, let's get these little guys in here. Let's get out of the potential sun. We don't wanna ever have these guys in the sun. They don't need the sun. Let's go right here so you guys can at least see. Isn't this a cool, a cool setup? Yeah, it is. You didn't even have to convince me. Okay, so to transfer these guys, all you can't really take them off of the leaves that they're on, which is okay. Um, let's just see. See, they're they're covered in on these leaves. We'll just hang these in here. See, like that. Okay. Look at all these guys. There was 92 eggs. So I bet a bunch of them probably hatched. Holy cow, there's a lot. Holy cow, I, I wonder if most of them hatched. Okay, uh, where do we want these guys? I want some down in here. Look at that. And then as these leaves dry up and die, uh, they'll move to the fresh. And then I can reach in and take out, take out the unwanted. Okay, I'll do this off camera because it'll take me a minute for these stragglers in here. And let's try the lid on here quick to get a look at it one more time. Look at that. We went on a little mini adventure. Now we have our own little personal zoo. Let me take you guys off of my head. Oh, this is wonderful. I'm gonna take this inside and maybe I'll hook up a little bit of a light. We'll give them some full spectrum lighting and I can watch them munch away and, and they grow really fast, so that'll be cool. All right, guys, we'll make more videos keeping up with this project and we'll have lots more videos coming up right away. Bye-bye, guys.